Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey, thank you so much for stopping by. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a slightly belated introduction to a new project pan. This is the Deck of Panning project pan created by Emily and Max. So if you want to see my intro, then just keep on watching. Before we do that though, if you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. All right, so I thought I was done <laughs> with project panning intros. Apparently not. <laughs> Um, basically on January 20th when this project started I saw everyone's intros and I had so much FOMO and I thought about it and I was like okay I finished up my roulette pan club I think I have enough capacity to bring in one more project pan so we are going to be doing this one I am really excited this was created by Emily and Max. I will link her channel down below she was inspired by a booktuber named books with Maddie um, and then she just adapted this into a project panning based, uh, project pan. <laughs> so the basics is, uh, you need a deck of cards, including one joker. I don't have that, but I'm going to use the, uh, card picker on random.org to generate those. Um, this is going to run from January 20th to December 20th. So the full year, uh, you will pick five products unless you pick the plus one, then you'll have six. Um, this is a rolling project with updates on the 20th. Obviously, my intro is going up a little late. I'm filming this on the 23rd. Hopefully, I can get it up today. If not, it'll go up tomorrow. So most of the prompts will be changing except for a few. Um, and then there, the joker, if you pull that, it's kind of like an are you joking me card. <laughs> so you have to pick something you really don't want to pan. I will link Emily's video down below. She does a really great job going in depth on the rules of this project. All right, so now let's get into picking the cards. All right, so as you guys know, I do film on my phone. I am looking into upgrading my camera, but um, I actually I actually uh, pulled out my old phone and we're gonna use this to pull the card. So I know there are apps you can use and stuff, but on random.org, you can select the number of cards you want uh, drawn, uh, what suits you want included, and if you want to include a joker. So I'm gonna select a joker and five cards. Actually, I'll do one. That way everything's included because you can get the same prompt twice so uh, i'm gonna do this before it dies because this does not hold a charge at all <laughs> okay so draw cards so we got the six of spades so we have the six of spades we've got i don't know if you can see the king we have the seven of spades we got the four of clubs and the last one We've got the 10 of spades. So six of spades is a matte product. The king is an oldest product. Um, the four of clubs is partner choice. And 10 of spades is, oh, a body care product. Okay, so I'm gonna go pick those items and I will be right back. All right, I am back. I picked my products was surprisingly difficult <laughs> um so a lot so a lot of the items I picked I'm going to be doing number goals some of them I will have the goal of finishing um, my approach to project panning this year is really going to be uh, rotating through my items and not trying to finish as much just because a lot of the stuff I have is not really close or even halfway close to being done so some of these will have number goals some of them will have like usages Oh wait, that's like the same thing. <laughs> some of these will have number goals, some of these will have the goal of being finished, so that's just how it's going to be. So I had the Six of Spades, which was a matte product, and I decided to go with the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer, cream bronzer. Mine, if you watched some of my project pans from last year, you'd know I did try to pan this, um, and you know it doesn't go up anymore. It won't, it won't roll up. So, um, I have no idea how much is under here and I don't think I want to set a goal to finish it just because I don't know and I don't want that <laughs> level of commitment. So I'm going to have a number goal of 30 uses. So I'm going to set a goal of 30 uses and then I can roll this out. I am panning another bronzer, but that is a matte bronzer so I can kind of pair these together. Um, yeah, so this will be a goal of 30 uses and I can roll it out. 
Next, I have the King, which is an oldest product. And I said I wasn't going to pan a foundation this year, but I want to pan this. So this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, 00A Porcelain. This is my oldest foundation. Um, I've actually been, like, unofficially panning it. And at January 1st, we were there. I was marking it, just didn't have it in a project. And now we're, like, slightly below where the line actually is. Yeah, because if I look through it, I can see... Um, it's like slightly below this line and that's just been like 23 days into January. I have been actually liking this foundation a lot. I did not wear it today, but I've been wearing it maybe three to four days out of the week. Um, so I've been using this about three to four days a week anyway, so I figured let's just try and finish it. So this is going to be one of my two finished products. Um, I am trying to wrinkle down my, uh, foundation collection. So, um, I think this will take me like maybe four to five months. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to finish it. So then I had a seven of spades, which is a least expensive product. And I had a hard time with this one because, um, I was trying not to like, uh, I'm trying to have a variety of products in my project pans. And so I ended up going with a lipstick. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipstick. I have four of these and I really like them. I treat them more as like a tinted lip balm, but they are pretty pigmented. I wouldn't call them super sheer. Um, and so I decided to go with this. This is in the shade Wild Peach. This is the one that has the most usage on it because I dropped it. <laughs> so I have four of these and, um, this is the one with the most use. Um, and oh, I'm like, tr I'm, do I want to have a goal to finish this? What am I panning right now? I'm panning two lipsticks and a gloss. So this will make my fourth Okay, yeah, I'm going to have a number goal with this. I'm going to have a number goal with this, and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to have the goal of 20 uses. Since I do have quite a few lip products I am panning, I'm going to set a usage goal of 20 uses, and then we'll go from there, see how much I use. I will mark it on a piece of paper, and if I think it's something I want to actually finish, then we can readjust the goal, but I'm going to start with 20 uses. The next I had four of clubs, which was a partner pick. So I had my boyfriend come in here and pick an item. He picked a random drawer and a random item. And he picked this, which was in my roulette pan collab at the end of last year, or I guess part of January as well. Um, and this is my night bloom blush from ColourPop. This is a light pinky lavender shade. And it's a really pretty, especially for this time of year. And so I think my goal is going to be, I am going to have a goal to use this 20 times. I, I love the way this looks on the cheeks. It's really, really pretty. Um, so this is going to be, once again, a number goal, my third number goal for this project. And um, yeah, my goal will be to use it 20 times and then I can roll it out. And lastly, we have the Ten of Spades, which is a fragrance product and I, or not a fragrance product, a body care item. And I chose a fragrance product. I just didn't want to pan another lotion. I am panning another fragrance, but they're both minis. In my 2021 overall project pan, I am panning a little mini um, that's not going too well. So I don't know why I picked another fragrance, but I decided to pick the Seven Virtues. I bought like a set of them. So I have one in one project pan and then another in this one. This is the Grapefruit Lime Scent. I did spray it kind of like onto my hand. And I like the smell. It's very different from this one. The other one I'm painting is Vanilla Wood. So this is more vanilla, musky vanilla scent. And this is more like bright and fresh. So I think I will actually enjoy panning this one. I will mark it, but as you can see right here, I've never used this one yet. So we do have a little bit of ways to go, but I am going to set the goal to finish it. So we're going to have two items I want to finish and the three items that all have number goals. I said 30 for this one and 20 for these two. So I think actually I'm going to set the number goal for all of these at 20. Just keep it really simple. Um, 20 for this one, 20 for the lip balm stick and 20 for the blush. And that'll make it really easy. <laughs> So I don't think I'm going to have any rollouts next month, but I should buy the second update. So first update, probably not unless I go really hard on this, but I doubt it. Or maybe this, but I doubt it. We'll see. I love being able to roll out items every update, but 
I know that's not necessarily realistic, especially now that I'm adding this project pan to the mix. That is all I have for you today. Um, once again, I will leave Emily and Max, her channel, as well as her intro video to this down below. She explains it so well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!